country. Uh, therefore, I feel very strongly that the elder generation can only guide them. But ultimately, you can take a horse to the well, you can't make him drink. It's the individuals who have to inculcate values and live life properly. Something other, in all my interactions with people, I meet thousands of people abroad in India, our mindsets are a little. I'm from Bengal, they want to go something not absolutely clear. We we have inculcated certain mindsets. Unfortunately, those mindsets are not exactly what they should be, or they have not been understood in the right language. For example, people say practice makes perfect. Does it? Practice only makes permanent what you practice. If I have got bad handwriting and I keep on practicing that bad handwriting, my handwriting is not going to improve. It's only going to become permanent. We have so many conceptions. Puja Pat Kata hai? Kata hai? Kata hai? Kata hai? Kata hai? He cannot give you anything. This is the whole problem. We have created this image of spirituality and the image of God as some superman sitting somewhere. So, for a culture, for a culture, for a pattern, for a puja pattern, for a food, for a chana, and he's going to be happy and he's going to do a lot of things for you. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. What I'm trying to do is try to explain to you how life works. Because it's all about life. What I just read, if you understood the meaning of that, I wouldn't need to come and give you a lecture. But that's it. There's nothing else apart from that. It all depends on how. You change your mindsets, how you understand life, how you use your knowledge that you have gained properly in life, and that's it, period. Everything else is bottom place. Unfortunately, as I said, our mindsets are little, not too perfect. You know, when we say, I'm only human, just look at this, I'm only human. The moment I say I'm only human, I mean to say that I am allowed all the mistakes in the world because human beings are guilty. Correct? I have taken for granted that I am going to make mistakes because I am only human. So this human being is one of the greatest gifts of God. You can't imagine the phenomena that is that piece of thing that you are carrying around the human body. You may not understand it, but you change your mindset and said that you are a native, you are an idiot. Just do what I am going to tell you to do. See, change is evolution. Is don't think that I am not for change. And there is nothing that is permanent in life. Anything that is created is matter. And matter always keeps changing. So change is inevitable. You cannot prevent that change. But don't give up that change so simply. And give up your old practiced assets. There are certain things that over life you have done things and you have seen that the results are, if you do this, the result is this, if you do this, the result is this. Don't just give up those things just because somebody says so. You must, God has given you a brain, please use your brains and try to establish as to what is right and what is wrong. Theoretically nothing is right and wrong. Let me